And I told the world that your case for the war was a pack of lies. I told the world that Iraq, contrary to your claims, did not have weapons of mass destruction. I told the world, contrary to your claims, that Iraq had no connection to Al-Qaeda. I told the world, contrary to your claims, that Iraq had no connection to the atrocity on 9-11-2001. I told the world, contrary to your claims, that the Iraqi people would resist a British and American invasion of their country and that the fall of Baghdad would not be the beginning of the end, but merely the end of the beginning. Senator, in everything I said about Iraq, I turned out to be right and you turned out to be wrong. And 100,000 people have paid with their lives, 1,600 of them American soldiers sent to their deaths on a pack of lies, 15,000 of them wounded, many of them disabled forever on a pack of lies. If the world had listened to Kofi Annan, whose dismissal you demanded, if the world had listened to President Chirac, who you want to paint as some kind of corrupt traitor, if the world had listened to me and the anti-war movement in Britain, we would not be in the disaster that we are in today. Senator, this is the mother of all smoke screens. You are trying to divert attention from the crimes that you supported, from the theft of billions of dollars of Iraq's wealth. Have a look at the real oil for food scandal. Have a look at the 14 months you were in charge of Baghdad, the first 14 months, when $8.8 .8 billion of Iraq's wealth went missing on your watch. Have a look at Halliburton and the other American corporations that stole not only Iraq's money, but the money of the American taxpayer. Have a look at the oil that you didn't even meter that you were shipping out of the country and selling, the proceeds of which went who knows where. Have a look at the $800 million you gave to American military commanders to hand out around the country without even counting it or weighing it. Have a look at the real scandal breaking in the newspapers today, revealed in the earlier testimony in this committee, that the biggest sanctions busters were not me or Russian politicians, or French politicians, the real sanctions busters were your own companies with the connivance of your own government. Thank you, Mr. Galloway. Mr. Galloway, can we uh, like start by talking about uh, Farwiz Azurkan? Do you know the individual? I know him very well. In fact, you were best man at his wedding? I was. And at some point in time, he became chair of Merriam's Appeal, is that correct? He did, yeah. And can you tell me when that occurred? I think in late 2000 or early 2001. Uh, before Mr. Zurich was chair of Miriam's Bill, who, who had that position? I was the founding chairman. Was there somebody in between uh, was, you and uh, Mr. Halford? And do you recall when he had that position? I don't. Uh, Mr. Uh, Zurich was a significant contributor to Miriam's Appeal, is that correct? He was the second biggest contributor. The main contributor was Sheikh Zayed, the ruler of the United Arab Emirates, which you've glossed over in your report because it's slightly embarrassing to you. And the third major contributor.